Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about 10 things that I regret on buying. And who knows, it might save you some money. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so here are the 10 things with no particular order. Starting by this. I bought this camera thinking that it might be useful when I'm traveling or hiking. Then I use it once or twice and then I never touch it again. <laughs> no, it's not a bad camera. All right? In fact, it's quite good. I just don't have enough reason to use it. So this camera is just collecting dust until I pull it out to make this video. <laughs> and this accessories is bad. Every time I mount my GoPro on this stick, in a have a later movement, it will create some cracking sounds. Uh, wait, let me show you here. Well, hopefully, I can find some use for this camera, or I'll just sell it. For those of you who are thinking to buy GoPro just because you're excited about your trip, don't. Right? Don't. Just don't. Just use your phone, right? You'll be okay. Alright, next. I bought this portable monitor just because I want to play Monster Hunter World with my friend. So I so I will normally bring my PS4 and this monitor to his house, and then we play it together, <laughs> like and you know the local, local co-op. It cost me around fifteen thousand, and the screen does not even look good. So yeah, I'm gonna sell this now. Whoever want to buy, contact me. Dear sister, if you are watching this, thank you for selling me your camera. Well, I borrow for one time and accidentally scratches the edge. You even gave me no discount and asked me to pay for a full price. And that camera still sitting somewhere in my room, collecting dust. Once again, thank you so much. Alright, next up is watches. I bought some watches and I barely even used them. Start by the first smartwatch I ever bought, Mokvoi Tech Watch Pro. The idea of this watch is you have dual screen, LCD and AMOLED. When you are not using the smart feature, the watch will just show you time, death, steps, heart rate, etc. And when you tap the screen, it will turn into the smart mode, basically like any other smart watches using Google Wear OS. It sounds amazing, right? No! I should just buy a cheaper Mi Band for fitness tracking or just go with an actual smart watch. This watch looks like the best of both worlds, but in reality, it is not. Maybe they already improved the performance on their latest watch, but mine is dead, and never again I'm gonna buy a hybrid watch. Next up is this watch, named Filippo Loretti. It's Filippo, not Filipino. Right? They call this a smart watch also. Basically, you can connect this watch to your smartphone and the watch needles will match the time with your smartphone. And these two buttons are for music control, I think. And that is all the smart feature you get. Um, what the f***? Alright, next up is this. To be honest, I have no idea what goes into my mind when I'm buying this thing. Don't get me wrong, it is a great vacuum. But the problem is I live in a small condo that I can easily clean it using a broom. Why do I spend 50,000 for this? Even though I split this with my roommate, it is still cost me around 25,000 per person. It works great when I want to clean the house, but I still cannot justify the price versus the usage. I can count using my fingers on how many times I actually use this thing. Yes, not more than 10. All right, next up, this speaker. Once again, fall into the category of price versus usage. I spent 8000 for this Bluetooth speaker and I barely use it. Bluetooth speakers are something you use it once in a while, so just get a cheaper version of GBR. Like 1000 pesos will get you a great quality of Bluetooth speaker already. You don't need extra gaming on the speaker like waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. If it doesn't have a cracking sound when you turn up the volume, then it is a great speaker. I have an issue with buying too many shoes where I only have one pair of feet. I bought a few pairs for my sport use 
and I ended up only wearing them a few times. I bought so many pairs of casual wears, as well I can change to a different shoes on a different occasion, and ended up only wearing the most comfortable one. And now I have a lot of shoes, and will probably just give it away. In fact, I already gave two pairs to my brother, so no more, no more buying shoes. Virtual reality gaming are awesome, but what is not awesome is the setup. It took so much effort just to play a little bit, and the cable management are the worst. You got tangled every time you try to move or turn around. And you don't forget, you need a powerful PC in order to use Rift S. So I ended up selling mine and get myself a Quest 2. No wire or PC needed, it just worked. Whenever I go for a trip, I always look for some souvenirs I can bring back home. Well, mostly are clothes, keychain, or fridge magnet. And I believe most of you watching this are doing the same thing. I bought it so I can keep it as a memory that I've been to a certain places. But in reality, I don't remember how many times I actually look at those keychain or fridge magnet and say, Yeah, I've been there. It was so much fun. So rather than buying those souvenirs, use your phone to take a picture or video, upload it to cloud, and it will remind you every year. Next is random stuff. I've been to a few conventions, mainly anime and games convention, and they have a section where they sell a random stuff like souvenirs also, like keychain, poster, etc. It doesn't cost much, so it's very easy to buy, but at the end, it, I, I don't really use them. Last but not least, item that on sale, whether it is clothes, tech, or anything. I bought so many of this. We have so many sales across the year. Lazada or Shopee even have their 1, 1.1, 1 2.2, 3.2 every month. And it's very tempting to over buy those sales stuff and end up not using them at all. So I stepped out from this trap long time ago. So I figured out to share this with you all. When you are buying a sell item, you are still spending, not saving. Example, the item is 2,000 peso with a 50% sell tab, which now costs 1,000 pesos. So you are basically spending 1,000 peso, not save 1,000 peso. Not to say they might bump up the price before putting that 50% tag, plus you might not even use the item you just bought. So you just end up wasting money. So stop buying items that on sale. If you really need that item, you probably already have it. Differentiate the need and want. Alright, so I guess one thing to take away from this video is stop buying the stuff you don't need. When you are shopping and you think about, do I really need this? Then there is a high chance you don't need that item. Alright, thanks for watching until the end. Bye!